Hey guys, it's Adrienne from Crafty Little Gnome, and today I'm going to be talking about these little silica desiccant packs. We're going to talk about the ways that you can reuse them and also how to reactivate them so that you can use them over and over again. So these little packages are found in everything from food, packaging, vitamins, um, you can get them in shoe boxes, they're in all sorts of products. What they do is they absorb the moisture in the packaging or in the area so that your items are not affected by the moisture and they don't get ruined. So these little packages usually say desiccant do not eat. Usually they actually aren't poisonous. Um, what's inside them is usually silica or some kind of um, clay little beads. And the reason they say don't eat is more because it's a choking hazard. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend actually eating them because you never know um, what could be in them. They're not, you know, food safe and meant to be consumed. But as long as you don't, you know, choke on it, um, you should be fine. So there's actually a ton of different ways that you can reuse these little packs. Um, you can keep them in anything that you want to stay moisture free. So you can put them in between the pages of books. You can um, put them in containers with food or pet food or treats that you want to stay dry. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of the different kinds of desiccants that I have here. So this one on here, over here, is um, they are clay beads. So it's basically the same type of substance as bentonite clay, except it has a different name, which I'm not going to try to pronounce and make a fool out of myself. <laughs> and we also have another one here, and this one is silica gel. So the silica gel came from um, a few packets in uh, some vitamin bottles that I had. And this clay one here came from these packets. And these ones are from a, um, a seaweed um, package that we have. So my family eats a lot of uh, nori seaweed. We're like addicted to it. And they all have one of those in. So I just cut them open and I put them in the little jars. You wanna make sure that you're using jars that you're probably not gonna use again for food. So whether or you are using the silica or the clay, the process for um, reactivating them is the same. Normally when you are going to reactivate your um, desiccant packages or silica beads, you would know that they need to be reactivated by the color if they are the silica beads. So if they're white, they would turn yellow usually. Um, if they're normally blue, they would turn pink. And then there's some that turn from orange and green. So a good way to tell is by the color. With the clay ones, they obviously don't change color. So um, with those, I would say go by the amount of time that you've been using it. So for example, if you have those little clay balls in say a jewelry box to help prevent tarnishing and they've been in there for like six months to a year, then you know it's probably time to uh, reactivate them. So what you wanna do is set your oven to 250 degrees and we're gonna put them in a oven safe pan. Um, so you can leave them in the packages um, if they're not plastic, some of mine were plastic. Some of them are like a little bit of a papery material. I don't like to do that because I am afraid of setting my oven on fire. <laughs> so I always like to cut them open, pour them out, and then we'll deal with what to do later. And I just put tin foil in this dish and I'm just using tin foil to separate the two sides so normally what I would do is you know do a whole bunch at once not just these little amounts um, just to make it worth the energy I'm using to do all this um, but this is just to sort of show you obviously the white ones did not change to like yellow but again this video is just to show you the process so we're just going to put them in the oven Okay, so after about half hour to two hours, your silica beads or clay beads should be ready. Um, you'll know that they're ready when, in the case of the silica beads, the color changes. So if they're blue, um, they'll turn back to blue from pink, or if they turn yellow, 
they will turn back to clear. Um, with the clay ones, really, you just have to go by time. Um, it's a little bit more tricky to know. So this is definitely an easier process with the silica beads. So once your silica beads or clay beads are out of the oven, what do you do with them? Well, you wanna make sure that you put them in an airtight container as soon as possible. Otherwise, they're just gonna start grabbing moisture from the air right away. Um, what you do with them depends on what you're actually gonna use them for. So a good thing to do is use like a little salt and pepper shaker, put it in that, and then you can put them in like drawers or in the refrigerator when you want to um, make sure that that area is moisture free. You can put them in a Ziploc bag, which is airtight until you know what you want to do with them. Um, or you can even cut up coffee filters, staple them into little baggies, and then put them in there and then save them in an airtight container like a Ziploc um, or Tupperware until you're ready. To so let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and leave your question in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you and answer it.